Hey guys, this is Dave from Growing the Home Garden. I'm here today to show you a problem with a plant. This is of course purple coneflower, echinacea, and uh, it's a member of the aster family. And so one of the problems that it frequently can get is a disease called aster yellows. Aster yellows is caused by a phytoplasm, phytoplasma that uh, gets transferred over by little bugs that suck on the juices of the plant, leaf hoppers and things like that, and it can spread it around. Now this is looks like a perfectly healthy coneflower right here, but an aster yellow sh will show up as uh, deformities, miscolorations, uh, different shaped leaves, petals. Um, you'll often see growths form from the center of the flower. And so this plant is actually affected. As we watch these pollinators jump all over this, it makes me sad to know what I'm going to have to do in a few minutes. And here's why. Just a couple inches over, and you can see the deformities. These green leaves with misshapen petals. Oftentimes it'll look like leaves emerging from the center of the coneflower. As you can see, it's all over. So, what do you do about this? That's a problem. Because it is very capable of spreading to other plants throughout the garden. Anything in the aster family can uh, pretty much get it. So there's nothing I can do about this particular plant other than remove it and hope that it has not spread to any of the other coneflowers I have around here. It's for this reason that I have pretty much stopped buying the fancy coneflowers from uh, you know, the hybridizers. They're really cool looking flowers, but I have so much of this issue popping up that it's not worth spending the money on those other things when I can grow this from seed and hopefully avoid this eventually. So really the only thing you can do is actually physically remove this plant, dispose of the plant material, and prevent it from spreading to another one. So it's very common. And if you see that, you definitely need to act on it. It can actually lay dormant in a plant for a little bit of time but you'll know if it spreads within about 10 to 40 days you'll start seeing signs of it in another plant and as soon as you do you need to remove it. I've waited too long here I didn't even notice this was infected until just the other day so needless to say it's going to be removed and disposed of and I'm going to look around and make sure that my other coneflowers don't have any of the same issue so unfortunately I'm going to lose a coneflower here but maybe I can stop it from infecting anything else. So, thanks for watching. This is Dave from Growing the Home Garden. Uh, please feel free to subscribe for other gardening tips and things in the future. Thanks. I hope you're having a great day.